What? There's a new one. You go slap my hand twice. Like. Let's go. Shout it. <laughs> Hi, on? everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Gabriela Mohale, and this is M O G A L E with coffee with the Mohale. It is? Okay. Well, I mean, okay, guys. You gotta tell us, right? Why, if you over here, fine, it's her channel. Right. Cool. But, I mean, Coffee with the Mahalas rhymes. Yeah, it does. Comment down in the comment down below in the comment section. Tell us what we should name this. Should it should just be Gabriel the Mahalas. It's channel. gonna stay as Gabriel the Mahale, and then on the days where we really want to share the word together, that can be Coffee with the Mahalas. I think yeah, I think it's Gabriel the Mahale, and then there'll just be a segment under the where Done you deal. see Coffee with the Mahalas, then you know we're doing it together. Done deal. See, I hope you yeah. guys are doing well, fantastic. Um, once again, thank you so much for your engagement with us. We're super, super yeah, excited. Yeah, man. man, I think as we speak, we are on 12,000 um, 12, subscribers. Subscribe. Oh my God. We are blown away. Um, we are blown and I, I don't even know what to say, yeah. you know, but we just really, we want to continue saying thank you guys so, so much. Appreciate it means it. a lot to, to us. Um, yeah. It's going so, it's going a long way for us. So we appreciate you guys. Um, to those who are still yet to subscribe, please do subscribe. Join the family journey with us. Yeah. We are um, fun, loving, um, welcoming people, I guess. We um, are. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Might um, not be a cup of your tea, but we are. Yeah, subscribe. And then those who are subscribers, hi family. Um, welcome to a new video. So today. Coffee with the Mahalis. What's happening, y'all? So today, Baba. Yeah, good. Um, we, we talk about something very special to us. Um, yeah. And it's, it's a topic that has been requested for a very long time. And we have kept it to ourselves for a very long time. I think if it weren't, I think we would have still kept it to ourselves for a very long time. No? I'm not sure. Because, I mean, we can't even talk I, I would without have, trying to, like, say... I, I don't know. I th I would have kept it to myself. We for... almost blurted it out in the last we video. Did. So I think <laughs> keeping it longer would have that just made it. Yeah. yeah, it would have been difficult. Um, but yeah, we are here to talk about our gender reveal. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Are you not entertained? Gender reveal. You know what it is. So, this is what we're doing for the gender reveal, okay. right? We're going to try and make it something special and whatever. So, we're going to play you guys like a little clip. Mm -hmm. Where we actually reveal the gender. Mm -hmm. It might be hot. Mm -hmm. It might be steamy. Okay. It might be sexy. I don't know. She might let me take my shirt off for the first time on camera. <laughs> it might be dirty, <laughs> but it is the gender reveal, and yeah. we are so excited to share the gender with you guys. So, baby M, it's it's been a long time coming. <laughs> it's been a minute. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Uh, we'll just lead you guys now into the video. You'll get to see the video where we reveal the gender, and then we'll have a sit down with you guys and talk more about you know Don't blink. the story. You might miss it. Yeah. Anyway, I remember dreaming of moments like this. Many said that it was impossible That it couldn't be done One thing I kept us going Is the one detail that everybody missed Our God has never failed And never will He's our way, our truth and our life and he said nothing is impossible so we present to you the possible mama we having a son <laughs> beep, 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 beep. was that not emotional how many of you guys actually guessed oh right oh my god and how many of y'all realize that you fake prophets <laughs> shade, Baba, no, no, like guys, I'm super excited. It's a baby boy. Yes. Uh, it actually is more than just a baby boy, and no shade to the fake prophets. I mean, you know, hey. just don't slide up in our DMs and be like, 
I got a word from the Lord. You know how powerful that statement Ish. is? Yeah. When you say, I heard from God. Yeah. Let's not get into that. We're keeping it light today. Yeah. Baby M is a baby boy. You know I'm how we go? little baby boy. My gummy bear. of the throne. Come of on. The I'm so excited. Ah. So, babe, I think we should really lead them into... Um, why it's so special for us and why we're so excited that it's a boy. I think you should share that story. Okay, so I might get too excited. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll start it off. Um, we have been wanting a boy for a very long time. Hey. Um, even before we got before, married. Before we even know where to put the... Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we've been wanting a boy for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, this is... Yeah years before we got married and i'll share a bit of um the story with you guys i come from i'm the youngest of three girls sorry i'm the youngest of three girls um and um i Just have girls. yeah and girls, i have seven girls, girls, beautiful girls. beautiful nieces that i really really love girls. um however in the journey I know that we have been wanting a boy in the family. I know I pray to God for my older sisters to get a boy, one of them being a boy, my middle sister, one of them being a boy. Um, and we really, really trusted God for that, you know, but we know that God um, is very intentional about, you yeah. know, the sex of our, our, our babies. And so um, we, we, we were okay with that. And so, you know, seven nieces. And, and so I was just like, you know what, God, I would really, really love for you to give us a boy. Um, and I remember even prior to getting married, I would constantly pray over my womb <laughs> and say, yeah. um, this womb will give birth to a baby boy, you know? Um, and I constantly spoke that over my, my womb. And I remember even when we did get married, I, I would pray. I, I know stories in the Bible where you see, I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know why the, the name Hannah comes to my mind, but there are women in, in, in the word, and I know that there are women even out there who have cried out to the Lord asking for a child or asking for a son. Um, yeah. And I, I did that in my prayers. I remember saying, God, I know there's, there are many women who have prayed asking for, particularly for a son. Yeah. Um, and that's not to say that there's anything wrong with, with girls. Mm -hmm. No ways. It, it was just a desire that I had. And I even said, I would really love my my firstborn child to be a boy yes as long as we have a healthy baby and yes we might have a, you know we might trust to have a boy as time goes maybe a yeah. second child or third child but i am asking specifically that my first child be a baby a boy. boy and this was very difficult for me to to hold on to because i've prayed for this for my sisters i've prayed for this before and um yeah. going through years and years and years without seeing it you kind of end up thinking Will this even happen for me? You know, will will it happen? Um, but it's amazing that <laughs> we're even going to share the story of how we went to the to, to our sonographer and our sonographer said, no, it's yeah. a girl and what we said. But I'm just sharing, I'm trying to give you context as to why yeah. this is so special to us and why we desire to have a baby boy. Yeah. I think for me, it was, I want my husband to have a son. I desire a son myself and I want my husband to have... A firstborn son and then what was also special is uh, my dad is like 73 my dad's growing old and I was just like I would really love for him to experience having a grandson and he's not getting any younger you know so for me it was like God um, I need you right now I want a baby boy I want my son to have a yeah. baby boy and I want my dad to experience having a grandson as well um, and we prayed about this like when we say yeah, like, we prayed, when we say we held on to faith for years, you know what? You, you, we, we prayed and it was, yeah. it was a hard one. It was a hard one because so many people um, have said, ah, in that family, it's just girls. You know, there will yeah. always just be girls that come from that family. Don't, 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 don't be expectant for a boy. Um, and so this for us meant a lot, meant a I, lot. I think, I think it really goes, it goes with, um, sometimes as christians or sometimes as people it's so easily uh, it's so easy for us to go with somebody else's word yeah and that's both on the good and the bad side i mean so many times we see it in church most people are just spoon fed you like the second hand revelation you're good with that you go with that because it feeds you and tickles your ears and it's enjoyment keeps you going for the week and you feel fed but you actually living off somebody else's second like hand revelation so and 
on the other negative side is that certain people say certain things and they speak certain words over you and you keep them to yourself but obviously if you do it for the positive you're gonna do it for the negative so it's what you've already so used to taking in and i remember uh for me it wasn't all that like like i said i move i move a whole lot different so i always knew that god was gonna give me a son um and it had nothing to do with yeah i'm a guy it would be nice to get a now but i think it goes beyond that i think it goes it's more about something deeper than that and i think it's for more of the glory Purpose, of god yeah. yeah and i just always knew you know that knowing when you know you know yeah. that i know that god's going to do something amazing he's going to give me a boy yeah. regardless of what the story was from her side of the family where every single person that came through was a girl even when i came in i knew these just girls just <laughs> i like girls 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 everywhere but it never even moved me once at all cuz i always knew that a boy was going to be like i'm going to be given a boy and we going to have a boy even if it's the second child or third child the lord is going to give us a boy and when we did go for the first scan i think it was our 12 weeks yeah the 12 weeks scan and here's the word that i had in my spirit through up yeah it's a boy until proven otherwise yeah and trust me I had to keep reminding myself of that and yeah. reminding her and of reminding that me. every single time. Yeah. If you go for your 12 week scan and that lady be like, I could put my money on the fact that it's a girl. Listen, that's what she said. She said to us that <laughs> um so we obviously the scan happened and she said, "You know what? I can put my money on this. It's a girl." It's a girl. And I was just like like my heart was just and and we left. I remember Little walking bit shaky. out a little bit shaken and I said no. to, I said to my husband and I, excuse my my language I'm, I said to my husband baby this child's dick better rise <laughs> because we're having a boy yeah, yeah, there's got to rise <laughs> and I was so honest and brutal when I said yeah. that to him because I was just like god no ways I'm not going to receive this word um mm. that this woman is saying right now so this baby Listen, I don't know what you're yeah. going to do, but this child is a boy. You got to um, you got to keep the faith even when you know yeah. that situations look completely opposite. Opposite, you know, so like, circumstances are saying yeah. are contrary to the word that you're holding on to. And I think that's just the message on its own yeah. that when God gives you a, a word, when God gives mm-hmm. you a vision, it does not mean that there aren't going to be circumstances that contradict that word or that contradict that vision. And let me say this. I think for somebody still that word is still true. Yeah, what do you mean? Like that's what I'm feeling in my spirit. For you someone who's ever watching okay. doing that whole TV and thing. Somebody out there who's watching. This is the word from the lot, but seriously so yeah. that word is still true. Yeah. I think sometimes we find a word in our spirit or God puts a word in our spirit, but we're impatient with the time. And so we want it now. So that's why my my word was Lord it's a boy and so prove another wise. But even if you do you do something else, I do know for a fact that you gave me a word before that and you said you are going to give me a boy. Whether it's the first, second, third, fifth, how many which there was going to be a boy. So now I'm saying that for somebody that word is still true. Whatever the word is. Whatever the word is. It's just that maybe you ran out of patience. Whatever the word is, hold but the on word to is it. still true. Hold on to it even if con- circumstances try and contradict that word. Yeah. Hold on to that word. Speak that word. Um stir yourself up in the Lord. That's what the word the of Bible course. tells us. We need to sometimes stir ourselves up in the Lord so that yeah. we can be encouraged because not all the time are we going to be encouraged or 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 holding mm. faith when it comes to the words that God speaks over us. And so yeah, um and for us I think what was even more amazing is we realized that we have seven nieces right and we realized seven that the number 8 the number 8 actually means Way. um doing something new biblically it yeah. means something new right yeah. um um and and <laughs> completely something new number 7 means complete number 7 means down complete with the girls. so and to the brothers eight, and sisters that we have no i want to on our side sorry and number 8 means <laughs> something new and i think um that that yeah. that touched our hearts because we realized how intentional God was when yeah. it comes to the
the gender of this child and it's not something new just for us it's something new generationally for our families yeah. both our families that Amen. god is doing something new god was doing something amazing with the girls that yeah. we have in our family and he's continuing to do something amazing and now with with the boy coming god is doing something new yeah. and it continues and it's not just for us and so sometimes i think we also need to understand that when god speaks a word over our lives and god gives us a promise not all the time is it just for us it's for generations to come and so you and holding on to a specific word is not only just for you it's for generations to come it's for the impact of your family it's for the impact of those yeah. who will, who who will eat from that that promise who will um gather from that promise who you know you know you but um who will gain from that promise you know so the promises of god yes we enjoy them but they're not just for us they they for generations yeah. to come even generations that were before us um yeah so god is definitely doing something new in our family so baby boy so baby boy um, ah, so i yeah. mean i mean like the, the crazy thing about this whole thing is that even when your word comes to pass there'll still be words that raise up against oh, you. Oh yes. Oh yes. So there are already still words that are being said and it's a matter of like we continuously have to have a faith word. Yes. No, that is not my son. No, my son is going to be this. My son is going to be that and whatever he's going to be is completely aligned with God and he will be in God's alignment even when he goes off the hinges. It will still be God's will. Yes. And I know for a fact that God will keep him. So it's just a matter of like we live in such a world that makes so much noise and sometimes the noise is right next to you but we super excited to keep the faith to keep God's word above any other man's word even our own words sometimes you have to be like nah bro definitely Chill. definitely definitely you ain't talking the way you should so yes. yeah i think i think we excited Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm I'm it's it's The queen it's, got two gangsters. I've gangsters. got two two well, she two got guys. two she two got men, two, two kings. I've yeah, got two, two kings. kings, you know what I'm saying? Gonna be spoiled. Ooh, watch how I'm going to make that boy drip. And in case you wonder why I'm growing my hair so I could come get cornrows with my baby boy. Now what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, um Ooh, I think Ooh, I can't wait to get that drip on that boy. Yeah. So yeah, Ooh. we we really excited. We thank God all the time and I think man, you know when you see in the word of God, you actually see when some when God does something great, the men of old would build an altar in remembrance of God. Yeah. And for us, our baby will continuously be an altar in remembrance of God's faithfulness. So yeah. for for us it's like if you were able to give us a firstborn child that we asked, we put a demand for and we trusted yeah. and you showed your faithfulness to us. What more? Like there's there's nothing that you can't do. Every time we desire yeah. something, every time we want to trust you for something, we go back to but God was able to he answer our prayer when we wanted a baby boy. Yeah. What there's nothing, there's nothing else that he won't be able to do. So our son is like a beautiful rem- reminder yeah. to us that God is faithful. Yeah. That that God knows the desires of our hearts and when we persist in prayer and hold on to the word in faith and come together in agreement, there's so much power It's a boy in agreement and yes otherwise. it says where there's unity god commands a blessing and we walked in unity when it came to the sex of the child we had faith together yeah. we came into agreement together yeah. we put a demand you know and we were like god this is what we desire and god god released the blessing so this is just to encourage you guys as well like my husband said um hold on to that word it might not happen right now but hold on to it yeah. it will happen if god has given you a word best believe he holds his word he esteems his word above himself that's, that's, that's a big thing yeah i think i think there's a video that i did on youtube Mm-hmm. And it was basically talking about how Jesus was like, "Yo, Pete, bro, you going to deny me, right?" Mm-hmm. And then Pete was like, "Not me. I ride till I die. You know, I cut years off. I stab anybody for you, Lord." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Before the whatever scarecrow, whatever bird sings, you know, you're going to deny me three times." Mm-hmm. And Peter was like, "Nah." Right? And I remember the word God gave me for that was that Peter trusted his word above God's word. If God mm. says it, listen. 
even if it means you're even going if to it's fail even if when public. it lands even if he's telling you you're going to deny it. if he says it just receive just it's accept. only a matter of time until it happens yeah, sure. so what peter didn't recognize the fact who was saying it because mm, mm. if god is the one saying it it's not your friend saying sometimes people can opinion. say whatever yeah it's not an opinion yeah. if he's saying it it's only a matter of time Before till it happens because no word returns void yes. so if his word comes out his word's gonna be done so um that's that's just a little short sermon to say you know what i'm saying yeah. If so he, be excited it, with us it's a matter of seconds it's a matter of weeks it's a matter of a month it's a matter of years yeah. god's biggest plan well, our plan for, for our life is whatever God's plan is. And yes. that should always be the motto. Yes. So, yeah. be excited with us. Um, <laughs> I'm so shocked <laughs> I didn't cry. <laughs> now imagine but, two of me. He, oh. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be hot. It's going to be good. <laughs> that was it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we are excited that we have internet aunties and uncles. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for showing us love. Our baby is loved so much, oh, nice. so so much. Um, it actually brings us to tears, and I think it also just reminds us of what God said that our baby is going to be um, a, a, a beautiful expression of His love and joy Oof. towards us. Can't wait for you guys to so, know the name. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. His um, names. Thank you wait. so much for watching. Oh. We're going to leave it here, I believe. Coffee um, with the Mahali. Subscribe, like, comment, um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. I love you guys so, yeah. so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you again for the love. We appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. Do it again.